Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat. Today I'm in New York City. I'm going to be showing you guys Emergency SOS via satellite, the new feature on iPhone 14 models. We're going to go on a hike. I'm going to show you the demo of how this works. So in case you ever get into a situation where you need to show someone where you are or contact emergency services when you don't have any cell service, I'll show you how to do it so you are equipped. Hopefully you never have to get into this situation, but I can tell you all about it. Let's get into it. If you call or text emergency services and can't connect because you're outside the range of cellular and Wi-Fi coverage, your iPhone will actually try to connect you via satellite to give you the help you need. Let me show you. As you can see, I tried calling 911. However, the call did not go through. So now I'm just gonna have to answer some basic questions and on-screen directions that will allow me to connect to a nearby satellite. These questions are very quick and easy and make sure that the emergency dispatcher will have all the information that they need. They will also have access to your location, medical ID, and be able to chat with you like I'm going to show now. Now is the time for you to move your phone and point it to a satellite. This is very easy because the directions show you where to go and you just have to make sure you're holding it to stay connected to the satellite. Once you're connected, your iPhone actually starts a text conversation with emergency responders by sharing critical information like your medical ID, emergency contact information, the emergency questionnaire answers that you just did, your location, including elevation, and the remaining battery life of your iPhone. As you can see on the top, it says keep pointing at satellite to send and receive. So you want to make sure that you're always connected. It takes about 15 seconds to send when you have a direct view of the sky. And sometimes if you're under trees or light foliage, it might take a little bit longer. I was actually surprised you didn't have to hold up your phone to the sky to get the signal. You just hold it regularly as you normally would. Now I'm just going to give the emergency responders a descriptive explanation of where exactly I am. So I'm saying I'm beside an oak tree on a hill in the middle of a park. When you text with emergency services via satellite, your messages are sent in encrypted form and decrypted by Apple to be passed along to relevant emergency dispatchers or an emergency relay center. I'm just continuing the conversation with the emergency dispatcher. However, it takes about 15 seconds to a minute to send the actual message through. So just make sure that you always have a clear view of the sky and aren't under any trees. I noticed when I was under a tree, it took about 45 seconds to a minute. To actually use emergency SOS via satellite, you will need an iPhone 14 model and it will also require an iOS 16 software update. So if you have an iPhone 14, make sure to do the software update right now. This is what the messages will look like on the receiving end for your emergency contacts. So they will actually be able to read the correspondence between you and the emergency dispatcher and even be able to see your location. Actually have a surprise for you guys. I am going to be interviewing a senior director at Apple who is an expert at SOS. He's going to answer some of our questions that I have and I'm pretty sure you have too. Let's go. With Apple leading the industry of innovation, how long has this been in the works and what sparked this amazing idea? Well, we've been working on it for on the emergency SOS via satellite for several years and we've had to face two main challenges really. The first one is how can we actually connect iPhone to a satellite with a big bulky antenna? So a lot of innovation went into that, a lot of research and development and testing to make this happen. And then also how to integrate with the existing you know, dispatcher network to make sure we give you the help you need when you need the most. There is no doubt that this feature will save countless lives. Do you expect or plan to have this feature available for users worldwide? Well, we're very excited to bring it to U.S. and Canada on November 15th, right? And there's go it's going to be coming to uh, more countries uh, in the coming month. 
It's very interesting that you can use it while in the water. Can you tell us a little bit about that feature? Because I love going boating with my family, so I know that would be very useful. Yeah, so this is a great feature for anybody who goes, you know, hiking, for instance, or camping on a road trip. But also if you go boating, as long as you are within coverage of the Coast Guards, or if you're on a lake, for instance, say plus or minus, you know, 20 nautical miles mm -hmm. of the shore, <clears throat> you it should be able to actually connect to you to the uh, emergency dispatchers. That's wonderful. With the new Apple Watch, Apple Watch Ultra, we know it is for adventure seekers like yourself. Do you, we plan on having this SOS emergency via satellite available for Apple Watch Ultra, something that we could look forward to in the future? Well, we're focused right now on delivering this feature, this service actually, mm -hmm. uh, to all iPhone 14 users, right? On iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, as well as 14 Pro Max. And uh, it's going to be available for free for two years with the act activation of your iPhone. And next two years, we're going to learn a lot. It's a never changing, ex exciting landscape. So looking forward to that. Thank you so much Thank for the you. tutorial today and bringing us out here to New York. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you so much. The important thing that you guys got to do right now is go set up your medical ID and emergency contacts. That way, if you ever have to use the emergency SOS via satellite, it will send that automatically right away. You won't be able to do it in that time of need. So go set it up right now. If you go into your settings and then emergency SOS and scroll down, you can actually try a demo mode and practice and see how this works for yourself. Although I pray no one ever has to use this feature, I think it's great to actually be able to try it out first. So if you are in a position where you need to use this, you're already comfortable and know how it works. Another feature that is definitely worth noting and knowing is that in Find My, you're actually able to send your location via satellite. To do that, go on the Find My app, click on Me, and scroll up and click Send My Location. I think this is really useful to send your location if you're on a hike, camping trip, and just let your trusted contacts know exactly where you are. You could also kind of use this as a waypoint marker, like this is where my campsite is, or this is where we found this cool waterfall. You also don't have to hold your phone up to the sky like this. It works holding it down as you normally would. Hope you guys enjoyed my demo, tutorial, and interview as well. Just a reminder that SOS via satellite is available for free for two years for all iPhone 14 users. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm in New York, so I'm gonna go get some pizza. Bye!